Hey guys, Golden TNT here. We are starting today. We are starting a walkthrough through the game Atlas. Atlas is a free to play MMO and it can be accessed on PC and may and on other consoles. So, we're going to walk you through all you need to know. First, you're going to start on these islands. So, here you will be able to buy your ships, get your crew, and get all the water you need. I always start off by grabbing fiber and punching trees. If you, uh, if you scroll down, you will do a special attack. It gets especially as much wood and thatch as you pretty much need without a weapon. Then you've got to go to one of these beach areas or you can find these little rocks upon the shore. And as you've seen I gained a level a bit ago so let's go level it up. Let's walk through. Health? Um, health tells you how much you, damage you can take before dying. Weight is how much you can carry. Intelligence, um, you can craft quicker with additional stat bonuses, reduce cooldown on feats and utilization of magical skills. Fortitude, better fortitude against the elements and stamina so you can run quicker and use other things. I would first always go for fortitude. This is your skill tree. The skill tree is where you learn all of your feats and craftable items. Always at the start go for tools of the trade and the basics. It will give you access to all of these things. The blue ones are the ones you can craft and the black ones are the ones you have the ability to craft but need resources for. Or need to build another crafting station. Oh and look at that, I've got one point. Let's put that into water. So, let's come in into our inventory here. This is your inventory and this is your crafting inventory. You click, double click on stone pick to start crafting it. This is your little crafting menu here. Click on this and it will clear the entire key, except for one item. You put it down, there. It has a it has a reduced cooldown, but yeah, it is not really that helpful, but it's good. I'm in third person mode, and then you get with the pickaxe you can gather more thatch than wood, and with you and uh, you need it to get flint, flint, metal, and stuff. You have got a lot of carry weight in this game, unlike other games, but you will use up that weight very quickly. I'm crafting a few essentials, and I go for weight. And you see these ones, these little feats where it has an arrow going to it, but no arrows going to it, going away from it. That is an is one of the feats. Or they unlock one of these um, things. There are carrots, piracy, music and dance, cooking and farming, captaineering, seamanship, artillery, medicine, armory, firearms, archery and throwing weapons, melee weaponry, hand to hand combat, beast mastery, and construction and merchantism. Oh, if you go for construction and merchantism, you can click on here, and you can learn all of this. But remember, you only have a certain amount of points in the game, and you will never be able to unlock every single feat. So it's very useful to have a lot of friends, but I'm going through this series in solo. Always go for basics of building on this section here then you can be able to craft thatch doors and roofs. Now, let's craft, or 
well, pull this hatchet to our inventory. Here. On the campfire, you can cook meat and brew a certain potions and different things. You can cook and it's very essential. This here is one of your greatest fears. Do not attack bulls at the start. They will kill you. I would far rather go for these little pigs. But watch out that there are not too many other pigs in their vicinity or they will gang up and kill you. So, let's attack. And also if you're near a creature and you press left alt, you will target it. And if you hit it, you just keep spamming the left button and you will kill it at some point. There, see? I killed it. This game is new so it will have a few glitches and lags, but mm, you can still work with it. Now let's go for some more fortitude. Oops. Here you can see your company or who, it's like a tribe. Tame groups, all the different gr tame groups, I don't really want to look at that, ordering groups, all that. Discoveries, you can like the free port that I'm on, that's a discovery. But there's a lot more discoveries as you can see. Here's the atlas, your own little personal map. And the gamepedia. Uh, that's not really useful, I wouldn't click on that. So, inventory. You see I can craft a few things, like some cloth hats. But now let's go. With the axe you can gather more height than me. If you use the pickaxe, you can get some more meat than hide. Let's see. See all that meat I got? And with the hatchet, you just get lots and lots more. So, once you've got here, it's actually pretty easy. Just go around the island, hunting. And as you can see, the more stuff you gather, the higher this little bar down here goes. And always watch for these two bars here. Water and hunger. Those are very dangerous things if they get too low. Let's go for more weight. Because you will fill up really quick. Tool studies. We'll be able to well make metal tools, but I wouldn't look at that yet. Handyman. Useful. Storage box repair hammer. Repair hammers are used for to repair buildings and ships. Spray painters so you can paint and paintbrush. Well, that explains itself. And storage box as well. Let's go for handyman. Then let's go for weaving. Chemicals and tanning. And should we go for here? Or nah. Let's look at this one again. Um Where is Captain? You here you can search the craftable things that you can do. And here you can search the skills. These are skills. Like I can put in Captain, and then the only thing that comes up is in Captaineering. You have to go into seamanship and have navigator tools. Captaineering is for when you want to build your own ships. So, we need some more hide. Oh look, a level. I will put that into health this side. Different. But I wouldn't level up right now. I want to have this little piggy as my <laughs> meat supply. So as I said, target it, now slash away. You can see how it has different levels. The higher the level, the harder it will be to kill or to tame. Tame is under the beast mastery. So yeah, you can t tame these piggies. There are giraffes, and as you saw back there, there are bulls, you can ride them. To, and you can tame these little parrots and have them sort of your shoulder cute. But right now, I will now show you around the free port. So, around here, see this giant kind of head that's sticking out? This is usually when you go up here, I'll show you now. Like when you go up here, you will find usually fresh water. Yes, it's different than some other games. You cannot drink from the sea. Sea water, like that water in front, like the water, which I'm about to show you. This uh, water right there, darn it. Okay, I'm cutting that part out. <laughs> like the water you see right here, this, as you can see when you press M, you can go to the map. 
you will see is connected to the open ocean. You will not be able to drink that. But these little to totem heads, they will be able to give you water. And also, see these trees here? They also give you fiber. And these little weird thingy here will give you sea grapes, also known sometimes as a kai. They uh, both they use the same thing. And if I haven't shown yet, here, down here, are the vitamin levels. Vitamin levels you have to keep stable or you will experience blackouts and sometimes even death. But now let's go and show you the three four. I will then level myself up. Like here, this is the cosmetic slender. I wouldn't really go for him, but there are things like ship figureheads, like a lion figurehead, or, you know, a traditional figurehead of just a normal stick. Then there's some magical things, like the Drake t Tame Token costs 40,000 gold, but you will be able to tame dragons. Dyes, this is where you get all your dyes from. And clothing and cosmetics, like a Napoleonic hat, and all the others, those are the things you need. But there are also peg legs that you can buy for 15 gold. But I wouldn't really buy this, they don't give you that much armor and yeah like here this person here this fine man here the ferryman is trap is the travelman or ferryman he will travel you across the islands like the island that is right next to the one by the way that x is me but i don't really use him except if i have this stuff here You're, one of your most important people is the crew record here. Here you can buy some crew for five gold. They will a crew. I will explain later once I've got some. But your most important person here at the ship at the shipyard, right here, is this person here. The shipyard's right here. You can craft the sloop and the raft. I would go for the sloop before that. So. Let's go and get some wood. And yes, I will now level myself up. Oh, all is going into health. Because once you're fighting like hydras and dragons, once I once that will happen, yes, you will be able to do that. The more health you have, the better. Just run through these little bushes. Pressing E and you will automatically collect fiber. Now let's chop these trees down and then we can craft our own sleep. Then we can go into ship mechanics. Also a thing that you can find around these three port islands are bottles which have got which contain treasure maps. Tre treasure maps can have from can range up from fifty to thirty thousand gold. You see that? I'm overweight, so I cannot run. I can only walk. This can get so severe that you can't that you can't even walk, and you're just encumbered. You won't be able to walk. So let's drop some weight by pressing O over an item, and there goes my stat. But I did lose that stone. Let's go into the free port again, and then let's get ourselves a sloop. But before we leave, we'll stock up on lots of water and some food because. Up when you're the further away you are on land, the quicker your vitamin levels deplete. The vitamin levels deplete fairly slowly when you've not got an effect. By the way, it's very laggy. It's a new game. When you go into first person, it's le less laggy. Let's go to this light, nice guy here. And see, now it's blue. I can craft it. I'm not gonna go for the raft. I'm gonna go for the sloop. See. Now, what, what should I name it? Golden TNT's Sloop. Now, I can go in depth for all of this. The Sloop will come with a ladder and two sails. The sails, well, I will operate um, slowly enough. But here is where you can store some things. And if you want to get up and you don't have a ladder, 
just use the steering wheel and then get off it again to do it. So now let's craft ourselves another campfire because I forgot where I put my last one. Dum dum me. And let's then leave this island once we've cooked some meat. Very laggy still. But you'll get used to it. After a big update, it will probably be done. Now let's craft this because I forgot where it is. And then let's cook some meat and we'll be on our way to New Island. By the way guys, I am on a, a server. I'm not going to tell you it because I'm scared that people will grief me. But I'm in L8 on. I'm on the southern island of L8. And I'm going to make myself to K7 in the top left hand corner. Now let's go into our sloop. Put down fire. Put some meat on. And we'll be gone. By the way, you can raise your anchor. And then we'll we will be oh once we put the meat on boom 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 oh no I forgot the meat I'll be right back when I get some hey guys I'm back so I just quickly came in first because I found some land and also these weird boxes that swim to the surface. They are loot boxes. You can take, usually when you swim to them, they usually have sharks around them, and they contain a small bit of gold, and so a small bit of maybe sea grapes, cider, and different drinks and foods. But mostly the gold is what you're after. There are different colors, each color meaning a different level, and the usually the best ones that I find are purple. That one, also if they go under your boat, they get destroyed. So if you're hunting for some, then get them if you can. Because one, after about five minutes, they disappear. Okay, I will cut when I get to land, and then I will end the video. Hey, what's up? Hey guys, I just quickly cut before I got to land. These things, the thing that's over this little wave here, is called a ghost ship. They go from green, easy, to yellow, middle, to red, which is hard. Avoid them because they will destroy you if you get too close. I would just drive past them and if you have cannons, well, then it's your choice you can destroy. Okay, I will cut again this time to when I get to land. So, I just built myself this little house. Um, I This is the end of the first video for Atlas, so yeah, explode on guys. Bye!